Welcome back to Living Local. The Mockingbird on Main in downtown Davenport is presenting the Academy Award winning and Pulitzer Prize winner Driving Miss Daisy February 17th through February 25th. And here to tell us all about it are the show star Shelley Wall Jasper, Bradley Heinrichs and Joseph Obelson. How are you all? Thanks for coming in. Yeah. I really appreciate you doing the show. Full disclosure, I am producing the show, and uh, but I'm really happy that you're all here <laughs> to help support it. So, uh, you know, Bradley, let's start with you. For those unfamiliar with the story, give us uh, a little bit of the background of what about what it's all about. Sure, it uh, takes place in like the 1950s, and it's it's a uh, beautiful story about two people. Uh, developing a friendship and 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 growing together throughout the years and yeah and the uh, the just the kindling of the the friendship between the two and you get to see it grow as the show goes on and yeah. uh, it's a really beautiful story yeah and you're all stepping into roles that are very iconic and have been played by these incredibly famous people Angela Lansbury Morgan Freeman uh, to name a few of them and and so what's that been like to kind of step into the roles of something so iconic Shelley I'll start with you uh, what's that been like for you um I try not to think about that I love that yeah it's um, a great answer <laughs> <laughs> I don't go and watch their performances uh -huh. um, uh, I just go off of what's on the page. And, and it's a beautiful script, so right. it really helps you out so a lot. To yeah. develop the character that way. Um, well, you are the Quad Cities Angela Lansbury, yeah, so I, I have feel like... Yeah, I played her roles a couple yes. of times. So. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and Bradley, for you, you know, Dan Aykroyd played this famously in the film. What's yeah. that been like for you? It's, it's very similar to Shelley. I, I, like I don't like to watch any uh, famous people's performances of anything that I'm going to do, because I want it to be my own. You yeah. know, and I don't want to base my performance off of something that's already happened yeah um that being said i mean it's it's it is a lovely role and uh it's, there's a lot to go off of and uh, i think it works very well i love that and joseph man you're you're the morgan freeman of the qc here how's it how's it going for you that's that's amazing to me <laughs> um and it, i'm really glad that i've been given this opportunity I feel like I'm working with two veterans who kind of help me out <laughs> with stuff that I'm having yeah. some issues with. This is the first major role that I've ever done That's in a play. one heck of so. a way to start, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the themes, Joseph, the, the themes in the show are pretty heavy. There's some humor as well, but how do you think the show plays now compared to, you know, when it was written? I think the themes are still very important. I think that the humor is still there. If the play was updated, I think that the humor would still go with it. There are certain parts of it that it's, it, it's, it just makes you laugh almost when you're saying it. And uh, depending yeah. on how the other person reacts to it, it's like, okay, I can't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> <For sure. laughs> so Bradley, for you know, fans of the film, you know, what can viewers expect going in to see it live on stage? The script is pretty much intact. But what can they expect? Yeah, uh, well, as I said before, I've never actually seen the show, so I can't give you direct uh, correlations, but you will get all of the beautiful things of live theater. Um, and the, the lighting and the sound design is, is very wonderful, and the space is very intimate and lovely for us to work in. Um, and it certainly won't be the film, but it doesn't need to be. It's yeah. going to be a uh, beautiful production no matter what. Yeah, and you still get the same story, mm -hmm. and that's the most important thing. So, Shelley, th this is a very important piece, I think. Okay. And I think it's extremely well written. And, and why should viewers come see it? Well, like Bradley said, it's a, it's a story about friendship. Um, but it's also about how people are really different, mm -hmm. but we're the same. Yeah. And we need the same things. Um, and uh, just to <laughs> see the relationship between the two of uh -huh. them and how they develop and how it grows. But yeah, the friendship. Yeah. 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 And you know, Driving Miss Daisy is one of those things that like you, it's kind of the butt of a joke sometimes, you know, like uh, Hoke, Take Me to the Piggly Wiggly and stuff oh, like that. You sure. hear like a lot in pop culture. And I haven't revisited the film in a long time. And it's actually a beautiful piece. I don't know if you've watched it in the last couple of years or not. I know you're not watching it right now because mm -hmm. you don't want to be <laughs> like those actors. But um, it's a beautiful story that really resonates, especially given some of the things that are going on in the, you know, the socio-political world. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, the Mockingbird of Maine is a very small, intimate space where you can't really hide. So as an actor, that can be both exciting and, and scary. And, scary. Oh, yeah. sure. and uh, you know, what are, what are your initial thoughts when you guys started working in that space as far as how you were going to approach those roles? Um, 
I just try to <laughs> put that wall up and yeah. that I'm not so that I'm not looking at the audience or yeah. I have to go into my own world, our own world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all about the storytelling. Yeah. And Bradley, any thoughts on that? I tended to because there wasn't a lot of room to make big physical choices mm -hmm. with acting. Mm -hmm. I, I focused on the voice as like and just my responses to things. Um, and I'm usually a very um, moving actor on yeah. stage and I can't do that with this so I've had to control myself a lot and just keep myself centered in my one spot and yeah. play with the space sure. with all we have. It's very film acting you know, it style. It is because yeah. they're so close to you. Yeah, yeah. Joseph? Um, I'm Truthfully I'm just impressed with the two people I'm around <laughs> that's going through this because uh, they seem to have it down packed so well that I'm like wow <laughs> this, is, this is how it goes. Yeah. And then I'm supposed to say something. So yeah. there's that part of me that, that has some fears about, will I look as good as they're going to be looking? Because mm -hmm. no. they've been doing this and they make it seem like it's so easy and so comfortable. They ah. just flow through it. Uh, and for me, this is a whole new experience as I'm going through it. Uh, I'm trying to absorb all that's going on around yeah. me. And uh -oh. have fun doing it. I think you all are doing a fantastic job, and I really thank you for doing the show. And thanks for being on the show today. I really appreciate it. So, The Mockingbird on Main will present Driving Miss Daisy February 17th through February 25th in downtown Davenport. You can find all the details at themockingbirdonmain.com. We'll have all those details posted at ourquadcities.com.